I'm playing an Ice Challenge account, an Ice character just got released, you know what must happen. Today we're going to be not only pulling for Misha, but the stream will not end until I Misha fully built, and we've also tested how viable Misha is. First, we have to actually pull it, so pray we get lucky. Wait, what? <laughs> we got we got Gwyn Ifen, we got Tingyun, and we got Misha all on the same pull. I don't actually know what the Eidolons for Misha are. Let me look at the Eidolons and see if we want to pull for dupes. When using ultimates for every enemy in the field, additionally increases hits per action. Our current ultimate by one hits up to a max of five. That could be good. For each hit of ult, there's a 24% chance of reducing the target's defense by 16% for three turns. Defense reduction is always good. Increases damage multiply for each hit of ultimate by 6%. And when using the ultimate, increases own damage by 30%, lasting until end of the turn. Those all sound disgustingly good. So Misha's Eidolons look insanely good. We'll just keep pulling until we get a few dupes of it. But we're going to skip because it's a four star. I don't feel like waiting for animations. Let's just go through. We knife in is meh. Perfect timing. I don't even have an abundance character. How am I even supposed to use that? All right, we got one dupe of Misha. That's good. Okay, we got another Misha and another Ting Yun. So I don't know if I want to go all the way to C6 because I do want to save for five star Jing Liu when she does get a rerun. But I think C2 might be good enough. Like, just on his face, those two look pretty powerful. This one looks insanely strong, but three turns of reducing defense is kind of ridiculous, so I think we'll stick with this. We'll stick with E2 Misha for now. So this is the first time I've logged on this account since Panacone, but we are lucky. We are able to farm his mats without actually having to have run Panacone. I love this temporary early access thing, dude. It is so nice. So we build him like a standard DPS. Let's see if there's any standard DPS pieces we can throw on him. Nine speed orb. I mean, nine speed is not bad. Apparently, this set is not bad on him either. It does almost equivalent damage to Glameth. By almost equivalent, I mean it's like 0.5% within each other, so. Let me take this. This one having attack. Let's see what this one rolls on. Oh, wait, that's sick. It automatically... Oh! <laughs> I don't know why I screamed there. Dude, that, that thing landing on crit rate is the best thing that could happen, though. Alright, it lands on crit rate again. It lands on crit rate again? Oh, wait, no, it lands on attack. No, that's good. Oh, wait, it shows you how much goes on each one. Wait, that's sick. And it goes exactly to the next tier. Dude, the quality of life in this game is so good. Aw, oh, break effect is kind of meat. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Land on crit rate or, uh, or attack and it's good. Ah, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's do some leveling up. We have quite a bit of books saved just because we only have five characters on this account so far. So it's pretty easy for us to just save books gradually. Same with the light cones. We should be able to get his light cone up pretty easily. Do I go secret Val on him or like what weapon do I go? We go follow an Aeon. You know, that would make sense given that it's a five star and I can just go get it for free right now. Maybe we should just go that. <laughs> I need fall of an Aeon. Yay. I think that one is the best five-star light cone that you get for free. So I actually think I have some of the mats pre-farmed for this because I originally pre-farmed for Jing Liu. We should be able to get this thing maybe even maxed. Seven out of ten. So we need three. All right, three, and that is the GG. So we have his weapon done now. A very strong weapon, I might add. I just realized that I should be doing his ascension dungeon so we can actually use Misha inside of these examples when he's higher level instead of me just farming his traces. So we're going to do that right now. Dude, they have a Coca-Cola monkey. This is... Oh, what the fuck? These things are all Coca-Cola dogs. What, what am I looking at? Wait, this is actually kind of funny. What the hell? Actually, you know what this thing reminds me of? You guys ever played Zombies? Call of Duty? This thing looks like one of the... What are those called? The things that, that were like clapping their hands. The monkey bomb. Was it monkey bombs? It was monkey bomb. Yeah, this thing looks like a monkey bomb. Look at this thing. Tell me it doesn't have the same energy. We got the monkey. And we got the monkey. This just looks like the adult version of that. <laughs> Dude, watching the dogs explode is so messed up. I'm gonna need so many of these. I'm gonna tank so many mats today, dude. We're losing everything. Or actually, he's high enough level right now, right? He's level 70. Let's try throwing him in. Let's get some of these up real quick. His ult seems like the main thing we're gonna probably want to get up. But there's probably a break point for his talents where his talent's gonna be very important for him. I feel like he's probably a character that's gonna be auto-attacking a lot. I made this thing plus 15. There's something wrong with my brain. Wait, this piece could be so cracked. All right, it landed on speed. Okay. I love this being able to enhance only to the next tier so much. Oh, and it lands on crits. That's a good roll too. That was 3.2%. Wait, this piece could be so great. Oh, it lands on HP. I mean, if it lands on crit, it's still not a bad piece. Landing on HP is kind of mid. Land on speed or crit, and it's still a decent piece. Attack. Uh... So I can enhance this one and see where it goes. All right, if it lands on speed or crit rates, it's a good piece. Nope. Let's see what speed gloves there are. All right, if this one lands on crit rate or crit damage, maybe we have a piece. Okay, crit damage with speed. Crit damage, okay. One or the other. Crit damage again. All right, one more, one more, one more. Ah, oh, HP. Do I want to keep going on this? Even if I hit crit damage, it's not that good of an item. Actually, if it's crit damage, it'd be fine. Crit damage or speed. Okay, okay, I'll take that. Oh, right, I need to check if we have some Glamoth. Wait, that's a good piece. Apparently, I just have this thing sitting on my account. All right, if it lands on crit rate or crit damage, this is pretty decent for a rope, especially since it's attack percent. 
And I land on crit rate? Okay, okay, okay. I should have ice glamoth orbs that I can use. Actually, I think I remember. I had ones that had crit rate on them, but I couldn't use them at the time because I had Yan Ching. Right, we have this one that has crit rate on it. This one has nine speed though. Oof, nine speed is really good. I think I just give the nine speed to Herda. We need a crit rate. Crit rate. Wait, it didn't actually land a crit rate. Okay. All right, are we getting RNG carried today or what? Crit rate. It's like I should have pulled Black Swan today. What is going on? Crit rate. I mean, so good. I'm plus 15ing this. Zero fucks given. Crit rate. This is fucking annoying. <laughs> you know what? What is this? 18% crit value? 17% crit value? That's good enough. Let's take our super scuffed Misha and go see how well it does inside of this. So I have not seen any leaks from Misha yet. I have not seen actually anything about what he does. I should use around my skill there, but I want to see what this does. So let's see. It's just like a little sweep attack and does some AOE damage and it charges his ult once. You can see him restoring energy every single time someone uses skills. Interesting. I feel like he's not going to have to use his skill, though maybe he needs it to restore the extra energy. Energy costs 100. Mm, him being a 10 and just sitting there is kind of a waste. Let's see how much his ult does. He is underleveled. All right, so he's got some little suitcases and he drops them everywhere and it just lands everywhere. Honestly, I don't like the animation for that one that much. Also, it didn't seem to do too much damage, but I'll blame that on the fact that he's level 70 and the skill's also level 2. And also, his gear sucks. So, we'll fix that in a bit. Mop attack, go! My initial impression of Misha so far is he doesn't seem that good. We'll see, though. Maybe he's actually the goat of all time. I'd imagine he's really good at weakness breaking. That's probably what he's going to be used for. Now that I think about it, his ult is kind of pretty similar to Lightning Lord, isn't it? Well, I mentioned it being Asta's skill before, but it just hits a bunch of random things and it's mainly used for weakness breaking. Actually, I guess it's both Lightning Lord and Asta. That's such a weird way to think about it. So we got to make seven of these, and then we got our Misha max level. That actually ate more books than I thought it would. So he's max level, he's max weapon. So we're going to spend a lot of time farming talent stuff. Oh, I guess this is why we have a bunch of resin. We farmed 110 of these on the blue ones. Let's get his base traces up because these things are broken. Let's get his ult as high as we can. All right, to level eight for now is probably a good stopping point. I want to see what the damage difference is going to look like now that we have him here compared to what it was at before. I will say, because he is a four-star character, it is much easier to actually raise this. The amount of traces you need to raise is so much little. Or so much more little. Dude, there has to be a word that that actually makes sense. You know what I'm trying to say. All right, now that we've gotten his traces up a little bit more, I want to see how much damage he actually does. So his skill before was hitting for 4.9k not on crit and about 11k on crit. Now it's hitting about 8.5k without a crit, so that's nearly double damage. Though I will say that thing was weakness broken, so it is a little bit more damage than it was before. Let's see how much his ult is hitting now. We got ult. On crit is doing 15k now, whereas before it was doing 11. That's to a non-ice weak enemy too. His ult is doing 33k, when before it was doing about 20... At most, like 20k. So, I mean, that's a noticeable difference. We'll finish maxing out his traces, and then we'll increase his gear, and then we'll see. See, like, that weakness broke three things, but that did do 90k. That one did 57k. Okay, that's not bad. Why is he a destruction unit, by the way? He feels more like an erudition unit. Maybe the destruction of my wallet if I decide to E6 him. All right, they're full HP. Let's see how much damage his ult does. Look at all this damage! They did 121k. What the fuck? So for stats, we have 43 crit rates. Obviously not good. We have uh, 162 crit damage. Not amazing. 128 speed and 2.2k attack. Herda has 56 crit rates, 107 crit damage, 131 speed, and 2.4k attack. But she's also missing a crit rate node right here. And also, look, her skills are not maxed out. Whereas Misha, most of these things are max, or like pretty close to max. We also have, we also have Glamoth instead of the crit rate set. So we have bonus damage from this. Oh, I just realized his skill technically gives him two stacks because it's consuming a skill point and it also gives a stack yay i got four of the purple ones holy shit there were nine on here so we need two so nine we need 20 more total so we run this about five more times and we should be good okay we've done a decent amount of farming now for the traces let's see if we can max out our misha's traces now so we go here 28 that is a shit ton. Oh yeah, we can definitely max. Okay, 18. We need 20. I don't have the credits. Oh shit. I forgot how expensive this is. Okay, I I'm kind of down bad right now. Where am I going to get credits? Am I really going to go farm credits right now? I mean, I guess simulated universe. We finally have the credits to finish his skills. So his basic attack, I mean, we'll level this at level four. We have 38k credits now. Okay. I mean, level we can get it to level five. Dude, should I just max this out for the memes? I want to max this out for the memes. Do you know what I really like? It actually shows you like the place where it is on the map and points you to a place near that. Actually, literally 
literally Genshin could never. Genshin just tells you to get fucked and go run there. All right, so with the credit dungeon done, now we can finally max out all of his traces. Oh boy. Yeah, maxing out his basic attack is definitely not troll. Speaking of definitely not troll, I've had this thing at E1, literally the, or S1, literally the entire time we've been here. Why? I don't know. But congrats to me for losing free damage. Okay, let's go work on some gear. If we can get more stats on him, honestly, he probably might not even be that bad. Let's see. 41k on his ults. That's like, let's see how much hurt it does. 67k. <laughs> I mean, we just broke one enemy, but how are we worse than Herta? We literally have better stats than Herta does too. We have better Lycone. We have better stats. We have better everything than Herta. This could be okay. Wait, that's really good. That piece could be cracked. That piece can also be cracked. Technically, this could be good on a dot unit, but I don't think there will ever be an ice dot unit because ice dot is not a thing. Ooh, good speed. Okay, we are done farming relic dungeon. We hit level 66 apparently. Let's see if we have any equips that are going to be half decent for us to enhance. So as far as speed goes on our boots, I think we only found one piece. All right, maybe this hits crit rate. Flat attack. All right, hit crit damage, and then we're chilling. Okay, okay, that's a great start. If it hits crit damage again, we have a great piece. Attack. I think I'm willing to go one more. Because one more ties the current piece we have right now, but then it's also part of the ice set. So crit damage? Effect res. Oof. I'm going to leave the boots alone for now. Right, this one has speed and it has crit rate and it's part of the sets. We actually have a pretty decent head right now. So this isn't too great for us. But if it lands good, it could be even better. Crit rate is a really good land. Speed. Crit rate again. That's a really good land. One of those two. Attack. I mean, attack's not bad. Let's see. This one is four speed, six crits, and seven attack. This one is eight crits, eight attack, and two speed. So I should definitely max this one out. Is that one at 15? This one is at 15. So this one's almost better. If I can get a speed roll, then this one's already better, and I have an extra roll left. So crater speed. All right, we got crits. Okay, okay, okay. And it's a good roll. It's a 3.2. This piece is definitely better. Let's see what the last one rolls on. Speed. I mean, it's still good. I'll take that. That is an upgrade. Let me see if I have a crit damage chest that I can work on. All right, let's see. This. Oh, wait. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, I enhanced the wrong one for attention. Is this one. This one lands on crit rates, then we can try it. Nope. If this lands on speed, we're chill. Attack percent is also chill. So this can go crit rates and that's good. All right. All right. All right. All right. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's take this plus 15 piece of garbage. And we're going to fodder it straight into there. And we're going to pray it hits good. It did not hit good. Let's see what it lands on. That's so troll, but it's technically better. But it's so troll. See, like, I have stuff like this, but they're all wind set. Like, what the... Huh? How come I don't get any of those for ice set? Imagine if a single one of those was ice set. That would be so cracked. I guess we'll do the crit rate crit damage ones and see if we get anything good. All right, crit rate. Oh. If they all land on crit rate or crit damage, we keep enhancing them. But if they don't, then there's no point. See, like, this one's already better. It landed twice on crit damage. And then it landed on crit rate. See, like, this is a pretty good piece. It lands crit rate. Oh. Let's see what we have with crit and crit damage on it for helmets. We have this one. I feel like I should have seen that one coming. Wait. Wait. It landed four speed? Yeah, this thing's a piece of garbage. Yo, I'm gonna fodder you. You fodder the garbage into the good piece. And it lands all on crit rates? GG, that's a good piece. So 50 crit rate, 76 crit damage. Only 125 speed though when he's running Glamoth. Twice on crit damage. That can be a good piece. If this lands crit rate or crit damage is good. All right, crit rate. And that's a good roll. One of the two. That is one of the two. Bring it home, I believe. It brought it home. Mm. That's like literally directly better than this one. Look at that. Extra roll. We take those. So I'm not able to hit the speed break points or Glamoth. Wait, Ruan May gives speed, doesn't she? So with Ruan May, we do have the speed break point. We're actually in good shape. We're going to start working on Orb and Rope, but we'll do that at a later time because we have no resin. So now that Amisha has pretty decent stats, we want to test what it's going to be like, and we're going to do that in Golden Gears. I was thinking about what path would probably be best for Misha, and given that he likes to freeze a lot, especially with his ult, and given that our team is an ice team i think the best path for him is probably remembrance let's see if this can kill without weakness breaking oh huh? so with four stacks it only does 11k his auto attack is doing 7k whereas yanqing's e only did 11k as well let's let's see how much damage the ult does so misha's ult at eight stacks did 47k yanqing's does 51k that's not that bad i mean considering it's doing as much damage as yanqing's ult and it's also meant to freeze it's not bad he's literally the worst five star units in the game i don't know if comparing him to yanqing is the play because if you're comparing him to trash then you already lost the enemy has the weakness broken deals damage one extra time considering my ult hits like 30 billion times isn't that a proc a lot Ooh. all right how much damage are you gonna do misha you got eight stacks please be a king nice
That did 176k. I mean, to be fair, we have a bunch of elation buffs. Increases damage of follow-up attacks. That technically increases the damage of his ult. All right, let's see how much damage this does. They're all broken. It 328k. The increased damage is really nice, but freeze at the start of battle also makes the battle really smooth. I think we'll go with the increased damage though. More numbers equals more funner. All right, so here's where the tech comes in play again, where I can use everyone else's skills to build this up, even though he has his ult right now. And then I can pop ult after. It's like, we just pop it now? I did 300k, not bad. Not bad. Bro, my Misha just died. No. Holy. I had both my characters die. <laughs> wait, was that? That wasn't even the boss. Wait, I can't res. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Oh. All right, we got, we're going to try one more time with Misha and see if can clear. We got pretty bad blessings last time, as far as Remembrance is concerned. Let's hope this one isn't a repeat of what happened last time. It's looking like it's going to be a repeat of what happened last time. Wait, what? Wait, no, no, no. I have 1,700 Cosmic Fragments I can't even spend now. That is not what I meant to do. All right, we'll do this one. So we got this, we got buff, and then we got March. Effect res. Wait, can I not dissociation this thing? So now we've used a few skills. We can use his old now. I did 504k damage. What in the hell? He doesn't get dissociation applied to him for some reason. I don't understand what's going on. Where's the dissociation? There we go. Do I want to hit here? I want to hit everything. Yeah, I don't feel like getting hit by that thing, so... You want to see how much damage his ult does again? Alright, let's see. We're at 9 stacks. The ults? How did the last one do 500k? I guess he was just constantly proccing dissociation. That's weird. I think I'm going to hit right here. I don't want to kill this thing yet, because I wanted to apply the buff to the other thing. MMOs are a giant time sink. They did 100k damage. They did freeze both of them. Wait, that's actually really good. Alright, I can apply dissociation both, maybe? We do this, and it procs dissociation. Nice. I get ult from this? Alright. GG. Let's see how much damage his ult does. Ends with a solid 308k damage from his ult. I mean, that's really good. In simulated universe, it seems like he has a lot of potential because he can synergize pretty well with a lot of the blessings in here. I think he needs synergies with whatever content he's in for him to actually be a good character. And if he doesn't have those synergies like he had in, inside of the simulated universe here, then I think he's probably not going to be that good of a character. He's like a pretty niche unit you have to whip out in like certain scenarios. He's not somebody you can just use all the time. I think most people probably won't find themselves using Misha too, too often. Maybe for like specific types of content, they could actually be pretty clean though. If you notice when we didn't have the buffs, his ult wasn't doing too much damage. But once we started stacking up buffs, like I don't remember if that run was the elation buff or the the one before that but his ult was hitting like 300 500ks whereas yon chinks was only hitting 100ks so that's pretty good